What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, and we're back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's ITYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Congratulations, they did it. And I say they, and I will have definitely say, emphasize on they, and I'll tell you why. Jung Cook, Big Jung. <laughs> Big Jung. Number one debuts on the Hot 100. Number one, they were able to fight off pretty much the entire country. Because that entire country wanted this um, song, on, you know, try that in a small town. And last night, either one of them to go number one again. The entire country is on some racist BS right now. Even had black people teaming up with the conservatives, teaming up with the racists who are talking about them to try to prevent Jungkook from going number one. And not because it was Jungkook. Because he had Lotto featured on the song. And you, now you know America already has it out for BTS. They hate to see BTS be successful on the American charts. But Jungkook is the first K-pop soloist to ever debut number one on the Global and the Hot 100. And I believe the top 200, global top 200. He's the first K-pop artist to ever do so. And he got the help from the Lotto fans, also people that were running with the Lotto fans, the um, Barty gang. Also, I saw a few hotties in there. And just everyone in general who is not on this racist BS and who wanted to see Lotto and Jung get that number one. And, you know, this is the first American artist that went number one with a K-pop artist. So, if it's so easy, <laughs> if it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else done it? You have to ask yourself that. If it's so easy to do and it was all... K-pop influence. How come some of the other rappers that has teamed up with the K-pop artists, how come they didn't go number one? Especially females. There's been other females to do record with K-pop artists. So shout out to Big Jung and Big Lotto for getting that number one. Now, as I told them, a little advice to their fandoms. You got to keep streaming, though, because if you don't keep streaming, it's going to get a big drop off. Now, I know nowadays people don't even care about going, you know, how it used to be. If you get number one, you're like, OK, we want to see how long we can keep it up. Number one. Nowadays, it's like people get number one and then they just stop streaming. Like, oh, my job is done. No, you got to keep streaming to prevent them from dropping off big next week. All right. So shout out. Yes. The evil, fi finally the good guys win. The good guys win for a change. And, you know, you see them coming through the airport. You saw every, he, he returned home safely. Great to hear. And I heard that that airport, it became a safety hazard, you know, for his safety. This dude comes home. It's like Michael Jackson's in, in that uh, airport. You know, Lotto doing her thing, performing and rolling loud. You could just tell Lotto's getting better and better every time you see it perform. It's just getting sexier and sexier. Oh, my God. Oh, but anyway, forget that. Shout out, Big Lotto. Shout out, Big Junk. If you want to say it was mostly him, you can say whatever you want. But Lotto has that number one next to her name. Great job because it didn't look like they were going to get it done. And they fought off the demons and they were able to get it done um, at the end of the day. So give Big Lotto her credit. 
Of course, we already know we're giving Big J his credit. We give Lotto her credit, man. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. I'll catch you on the next one.